Hey guys, what's up? This is Andrew for TrendSenses.com. So in this video, guys, as usual, we're gonna go through AMC GME price action. We're gonna go uh, through Triple Q price action as well. We are having, guys, some bad things happening on the US 10 year yield and the DXY. So we're gonna go through that as well. And we're gonna try to understand what is happening with those markets that are selling again today uh, and try to see what can happen next. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So not a good day again i mean not a bad day uh but not a good day either amc down two percent gme down almost eight percent guys nasdaq pretty much flattish and we having guys some breakout confirmation on the weekly time frame uh that we had already last uh friday but today we are making new highs on the us 10 years uh we are almost at three this is not a good signal um so let's see what can happen next guys. So first AMC. AMC on the four hour time frame, we are still in this uh, descending wedge. So once again, a descending wedge can last for long. It's not because you're in a descending wedge with some bullish divergences as we're having here that uh, the reversal is uh, coming right away, but it's just an environment where it could happen anytime. Uh, so we are monitoring that uh, right now. As you can see, we got again today rejected on this trend line. Uh, that is moving lower every day. So, you know, I don't know what's can, what, what, what will happen here, but I'm looking for a move above this uh, level with increase in volume. For now, we're not having it. Bears and control on the short and medium term. Um, on the long term as well, guys. As can be seen, we are in a massive correction that is, you know, just going lower. As you can see with this trend line. So bears and control guys, that's the reality of uh, what is happening. And, and we are waiting for a bullish sign uh, that could help bulls to gather their strengths and to take some ground on the upside and you know, come back to this area where uh, it would be dangerous for bears. But guys, for now we're far from that. Uh, and what is happening on the rest of the market is not good. So Jamie, Jamie dropping brutally today. Uh, we have identified that uh, the 130, 125 level was an area of support. Uh, we consolidated here for four days, as you can see here, guys, just like we did here before. And today we are dropping. We clearly broke out on the downside. I don't see volume increase. So, you know, it's not because you don't have a volume increase that uh, it will not go lower. It just means that it's going to be easier when the situation will uh, be better for bulls to take back control. Uh, but for now, bulls are not trying anything. They're not buying, you know, there, there is no activity. So we are dropping on low volume and we can drop lower. Uh, the next support level is hundred and five. Uh, do we have anything else that could help bulls to organize on the downside? I'm trying to see if I have some trend line, maybe. No, not really. This is not helping. Uh, no, I don't have anything before 105. So this is the, na the next support, guys. Uh, I'm afraid we're going there. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm afraid we're going to 105 and maybe even to the lows. Uh, it's not totally looking good, guys. Uh, we need once again the the sentiment to shift on the global market. So what is the situation? Still the same uh, narrative here. We are in a slowing economy. We are not able to lower the rates as we usually do, as the Fed is usually doing in this kind of situation. Uh, they cannot lower the rates because inflation is here, guys. Uh, we can feel it. I mean, I feel it even when I go uh, to the grocery shop to, to buy, you know, food, chicken, meat, whatever. Everything is more expensive. Vegetables, everything. You, you, the bread. I'm French, so, you know, I can, I'm buying bread very often. The baguette. And it's more expensive. Everything is more expensive because the commodity prices are going up because there is some issues in the supply chain. Uh, because of COVID first, then because of war. Um, 
and and yeah this is impacting uh the price of creating things and whatever you know food or cars or computers everything is going to be more expensive because of this supply chain um, issues and because of higher uh, price of commodity that are used to create all these things so this is the situation we are in uh, this is not a good situation um, and the fed must fight this inflation so to fight this inflation they need to slow the economy so to slow the economy they increase rates and as you guys know we have a historic uh, high level of debt everywhere in the world so rising rates i mean r uh, putting the rates higher is going to create some issues for all the countries all the companies that have that have high levels of debt and let me first finish this analysis then i'm going to tell you what i think might happen in triple q uh, but as those companies need dollars to pay back the debt you can see the rush for the dollar and i told you guys to monitor this uh, dxy which is the dollar index uh, as you know a fear indicator fear and it's not only a fear indicator it's also uh, so of course it's showing that there is fear that people rush for the dollar to pay back the debt uh, because the most of the debt in the world are denominated denominated in dollars uh, but it's also making it more difficult more difficult for this uh, companies or countries that have you know a debt in dollars but that use a foreign currency to pay back the debt so it's a double uh, signal that is not good for uh, the equity market and as i told you guys the us 10 year yield very important to watch we were in a 40 years downtrend and we are breaking out guys so it's been the third week we are trading above this trend line and it's the first time we reach three so I can tell you that this level is a level that a lot, a lot of investors have in mind. And everybody's going to talk about the fact that the US 10 year yield reached three. Uh, maybe we're going to have a selling reaction here. I do hope we have it because if we don't have it, if we keep going higher, which is for now the most uh, likely scenario, um, this once again is not good for the equity market because uh, the US 10 year yield is the expected rate of return of the equity market. So the higher it is, the more competitive it's going to be for companies. I mean, the tougher it's going to be for companies to beat this. And so the less competitive the equity market is going to be for investors compared to the bond market, to the uh, treasury, um, treasury yeah, yields so this is the situation we're in guys and it's not good dxy above 103 us 10 year yield above 285 triple q now uh i didn't take a position today once again i'm pretty flattish uh on my positions i'm i'm even make a little bit of money when the market is dropping some slightly short uh i'm trying to increase this short position um but today we were discussing that in my discord uh, you know there was a trade to do. I didn't do it because, you know, it's there is a lot of volatility. So it's not easy to make safe trades uh, in this situation. But here, uh, three eighteen was uh, the last support, and today it acted very well as resistance. We opened, we went higher, and then we got rejected. But let's be honest, we could have very well come here, and here I would have taken a short position. All right, I don't want to sell on the way down uh as i am already short but for those who are not short it's i mean it's better to reduce positions not financial advice but at least not i, I would not buy the dip if i had already a long position i'm having a slightly short position i'm not gonna buy this dip i'm gonna wait here 280 guys because i don't know exactly how but we'll probably go there we can do some elliott wave theory here because we are in um wxy correction so the wxy correction should happen with an abc right so we should have here an abc so you see at some point we're gonna have a rebound all right a b wave so i don't know exactly how it's gonna be guys all right maybe something like that 
you can't that's one scenario i'm not saying you know it's the it's the way things will happen but it's something like this probably so we're gonna have and a waves usually develop in five waves right so we're gonna have something like that so this is so it's not easy to know if this is a one two or you can do one two three four five maybe or you could do one two three four five it doesn't change much we're gonna have i think a small pullback before one more leg down coming soon all right so this is gonna be a nice opportunity to take some protection or to build a short position then uh here of course it's hard to say if we're gonna go right away to here i don't think so but it's possible but here there is a long position to build it's dangerous to buy here uh, and then here maybe the b wave we're gonna need to analyze all of that if here we have volume or not in this b wave then we're probably gonna have if we don't have volume sorry in this rebound that will probably happen maybe here maybe even before if we rebound without volume i mean we never have big volume in uh, moves up on triple q but we can still have some decent volume and strong moves up or small moves up with very small volume so this is what you're going to pay attention to exactly like we did here guys all right and this is the reason why here i took a short position because here i mean we we had one day with big volume but most of the days were with uh, very low volume so this is what we're going to try to to see and the moves were small all right here we, we moved quite strongly at the beginning but then we were just grinding higher right so this was the situation for a reversal so here we're going to try to monitor the same thing and see if we have this c wave uh, that can happen later or not uh, but guys as long as the us 10 year yield is above this 285 3 level consider that we're going to keep dropping all right we're going to keep dropping and i don't see a bullish scenario possible with this us 10 year yield above three so if we keep going higher here then whatever uh pullback we have on the upside because it's a pullback on the way down so whatever corrective move on the upside we have here is going to probably be sold because investors are going to uh, unwind the long positions asset managers like i told you guys banks um you know all the professional investors they will offload the equity positions uh if this us 10 year yield stays around these levels and even more if it goes higher so this is what we need to pay attention to um once again guys the situation is not great uh for now so as long as the situation is like that uh stay light lightly invested um it's not a situation to me to buy the dip um if we have some very strong moves down then yes all right so around if triple q loses you know 10 10 12 percent uh so for amc maybe around 13 or on the upside breakout uh, and gme around 85 or 105 you know even 105 seems early to buy guys uh, i would here just once again try to secure as much as possible the positions uh, for those who want to don't don't have short position try to take some short position on the way up on triple q uh using s triple q for example so that at least you know you you survive if we go lower because i'm afraid we will um and yeah just stay safe guys not financial advice but i think we're not in a nice environment for the coming weeks maybe coming month this is the situation to me um i'm gonna keep updating you guys uh, i'm sorry i don't have good news today um but once again we might have uh, a rebound coming soon so let's keep hope let's keep faith and we can still manage to get out of the of this situation if the growth help us to um to fight inflation so this is what we're trying to do let's see if we can do it guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to click on the sub like and bell button so you're gonna be the first to know when i upload anything new and stay close to shore i'll see you guys